Hello everyone and thank you for joining us again. This uh, brief video overview is just to give you an idea of what is involved with adding a new property to your islandrealestate.com advertising account. And so you just, as before, we're going to take you down here to log in. Down here to the login link. And then that'll take us into our account dashboard. And here, as before, you'll see there's the profile section where you can edit or change your password. And then just here is the property section where you can view all properties if you want to edit or make changes to them. Or here is the add property, which is what we're going to do today. So when we go into the add property section, it gives us a fairly clean template. You'll see that we have a section here for the title. There's the, the text editor here where we put the content and the information about the property and then it just works its way down through the various form fields that you fill in with the information about the property. If there's any that we've missed there or overlooked please let us know. We can easily add, edit, or change those as we move along. But to begin with this property we'll start by putting in the basic content and I've just preset up uh, in this text editor or notepad here the content for this property so I can quickly and easily put it into the site. When I put the text information into the text box, which is normally what I start with, um, I convert it all to Arial. Um, there's two fonts that will look good in the site. One is Times, the other is Arial, and I prefer Arial, so I've changed that all to the Arial font now. This is the headline for this property, and it's a little bit long, uh, to be honest with you. We're going to have to crop it. Um, we had hoped to be able to have longer headlines, but as it turns out, with the way we designed the search results uh, section of the site, where the property show with a brief description and the photo um, uh, on the list pages, uh, we've had to cut this back to 40 characters so we don't have wrapping of the text. We'll lock that down shortly, but right now it just means we need to crop that headline at a boat where it lines up with that. Uh, font style box there, you'll see. So I'm going to take the back half of that and we'll turn that into a tagline down here. It could be this information I pasted down here. I could have just as easily left that as the headline and made the other information the tagline, but just for this example, that's what we'll do. Condo is the type of the property. And so now we've got our headline, we've got a tagline, we've got a description about the property. And now we want to do two things. We want to add some images and we want to complete the, uh, the, the form fill in. So in adding the images we go here, we'll grab our images, we'll just drag those and we can drop them right onto the right onto the page. And, uh, and those are uploading, you'll see, uploading, you'll see the check marks appearing which means the images are being compressed and crunched into the site. There's other images you'll see that are here and those are images previously uploaded for other properties. So right now when these images load in for you, they're coming into your main database. And so that's why you're seeing the other images around them. We're in your main database with all your images. We don't need to be in this section, but that's just the default for the site. So the first thing we're going to do to make sure we don't inadvertently load all of these images into the content section of the site or into the property description is we're going to clear the check marks. We just click that box and click that clear sign. That does that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go into the this property specific database by going to the upload it to this page in the drop down box. And there we are, we've cleared those other images away. And there's two things we want to do now that we're in here. One is we want to select which image will be the image that shows up in the search results section of the site. And I normally pick what I consider to be the best image or the one that works best with a site. Typically that involves the, the hue of the aqua turquoise waters, the blue skies, um, or a great outside shot. So just so you know, the image that goes in this top left section, that image is the one that will show up in search results. That image is the one that people will see first when they're sorting through the different properties on the page. And so that's why you want that to be your best shot. I don't need to do anything with that except I put it in that top left corner and that automatically means it goes into the search results section. The second thing we want to do is we want to determine which image 
is going to go into the property content section of the site. Which image is going to go in that top left corner, wherever you decide to position it. And I always put that image in the second spot, just for simplicity. I know that when I come in afterwards, if I want to do edits here, that the image which is in this second spot is the one that is in the property page. So we click that, we get the check mark, and down here now we insert it into the page. And there we go. The image is in. So now we've got our title, we've got our image, we've got our property description, we've got our tagline just down below here. And whoops, let's get a little bit further. We've got our tagline, and uh, and we're looking good. We can now fill in the rest of the information that we want to have on the property. No SID for this one. So I'll try not to talk too much just as I do these check marks. There's not a lot to say. It's all pretty self-explanatory. Um, as we work our way through, I'll skip through some of these. You want to put in as much detail as you can, but I'm also wanting to be conscious of your time here. I just wanted to have you get an idea of what this is all about. So, so here there's Here you can put on request or reduce price if you have a, a property that that would uh, qualify for. Um, on request means that uh, you wouldn't put the price in, and the only issue that you want to know with that is is that the properties then won't sort when people are sorting them based on price. Uh, this property won't have a price, so it actually will appear at the opposite end of the spectrum. So you want to use that as rarely as possible until we get that uh, feature built in. That's U.S. dollars. Uh, the HC name. This one is the property for back of state services, and the broker there is head newell. Um, once you've loaded this information in the once, you'll see if you're using Firefox, uh, the content hold will automatically very quickly and easily uh, just auto complete your, your entries there. Uh, be careful how that works out though when you're doing things like price or MLS IDs or, or the square footage on the size of the properties. You don't want to inadvertently add uh, content in that isn't correct. So that's it. That's all of our content. And we can do two things now. We can preview it if we want. At first, just a peek and see what it's going to look like. And there we go. It's the content with the headline and the tagline. Um, everything's looking good. We've got our contact information and logo on the side. We've got our images. And we've got our content down below here. And uh, look, I forgot to put in that uh, location details. So on the location details here, folks, uh, for the address, you can set the coordinates manually here for, and I grabbed those before we came in here. You can set the coordinates manually here to get your map showing up. And uh, that's it. And so now we're going to uh, save draft. And now we'll preview it again. And I get those coordinates. I go to a site called lat long.net and I can send that to you if you wish but that just helps with getting the, the proper coordinates for the location on those properties and there you go so that gives us a pretty good looking property presentation and site for folks to go through and as you know already when you click on the images here you can and just arrow through them and preview them um, as you wish so the only other thing we do with that now is, is we submit for review. And your property is in the, uh, the review queue. And the reason we review those properties now where we didn't before is we put in, we're putting in custom uh, links for the property itself. So if you ever need to reference it or so folks that see the, uh, the links advertised elsewhere, it's an easier read. And the other thing is we put it, we assign a, a property code uh, to the property. We do that manually to make sure that they all get assigned properly. But that's it. That's what's involved in uploading or adding a property 
to your islandrealestate.com advertising site. Thank you very much for watching this. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. You can call us or you can send us an email, and we'll get back to you as quickly as possible. Thanks again. Have a great day.